Okay, so I kind of want to describe this, but like sometimes there are people who are excited and plotting and planning to see you not accomplish your goal. And I just want to describe how pointless that is, that hope, because like winners are going to win no matter what. And you can try and microaggress your way into hateration all day long, and it just won't ever succeed. <coughs> and I learned that <coughs> lesson the hard way <coughs> because of fear. So sometimes people will try to scare you so much into a particular behavior that you're like stuck and unable to do something else. And then maybe by accident, maybe by pure chance, you will finally come across somebody doing, somebody who's similar to you in some way with the logic chain that will break the worldview that you had in the past. And you will move forward to actually like accomplish said thing. Um, and there's guilt. There's serious guilt because you feel like you wanted to you wanted to be kind to them. You wanted to be civil to them. You wanted to give them a win, but it isn't your responsibility to support and endorse someone else who wants to see you fail. I used to feel that way. It's that concept of like don't dim your own light to let someone else shine. <laughs> it's like people they're like no you can't do this because then what will i do this is my spot that it's the diminishing returns idea it's that idea that there's like not enough space at the top for everyone or that there is a certain thing as a top what there is is like like you are this is what grounding is right it's like if i say my feet are on the ground you can say like no they're not you can rationalize your way out of me having the literal experience that i'm having but it doesn't change the experience that i'm having like life is gonna happen the other thing that i do want to like really put into perspective is like pain eventually stops suffering eventually stops like everyone has to go through the ebbs and flows of happy and sad. Nobody's gonna be all sad. Nobody's gonna be all happy. You have an ebb and flow cycle of wins and losses. Like everybody has them. It is your responsibility to celebrate your wins and rectify your losses. That is your responsibility as an autonomous human. If you are too incapable to you know, recover from your losses, then maybe you get institutionalized, like that happened to me. But then you grow and you become stable again. And then you come back and you're like, all right, we're gonna go again, here we go. We gotta start over. And you just, you know, you take note of the shit that you did do right. And you're just like, all right, we're going. We are going forward. I feel like that dude, like he just looked he look like why is he looking at me you're a grown-ass gay man mind your own business faggot like what do i have to do with you like why do people always look at me just look at yourself get a mirror if you're ugly i'm sorry but it's not my problem it isn't my responsibility to make space for you fuck you i care about me you should care about you there are things that you can do to make your existence more palatable. Like, have a meal. Have water. Consume a song that is not about aggression or depression. Consume a song that is about feeling a feeling. A constructive feeling. I actually feel like Harry Styles did a really great job of this in every song on the album. Every song has self-actualized and described a feeling, describing a place that is non-aggressive and the beat is pumping. Like, feel that in your heart. Like, feel that life. And that's it, just take that in. That is the life 
that you have. The enjoyment that comes from realizing that experience is what it is. That there isn't another thing, right? Like that, I feel like having the conversation with the Manhattan was interesting. It was like new. It was, um, I got the list of places to go and check out in Louisiana, in New Orleans. <coughs> and I'm gonna go just because I've never done it. And I'm afraid to go because I've never gone. Like I have fear. And so I'm gonna literally stand in my fear and do it anyway. Maybe a part of like the trauma porn is like actualizing that there are weaker people who will be subjugated to so much trauma that they actually won't ever move past the trauma. But I think it has to become more evident and more out there and more real that there is another side. Not that there's kind of another side, but like there's always, like in the same way that you might be familiar with one demon and you might think, oh my God, this is the worst. There's another looming around the corner that might be a little more eclectic, let's put it that way. So your familiar is not the only familiar. Your familiar is simply one shade of the known. And that's a thing. It's an interesting thing too. Um, it's kind of like a dark thing a little. But it's also like, <laughs> like I really wonder like what happens when not what happens how does it feel to process a loss and actualize the steps that you could have taken to win that is the part that I've become more familiar with that is a little bit shocking um, it's a little bit shocking Yeah, no, really. Um, because, like, I had to realize that, like, I could have done better, but I did what I did. And that was still, we'll say, effective. 